Mike, what was the thing that you liked the most about your job, especially when you were up there above the earth? Well, uh, as, you know, as for flying in space, the for me the highlight was uh, the spacewalks. Those I found to be the the most interesting part of it, the most extraordinary part of it was getting outside of the spaceship in a spacesuit and working on the Hubble Space Telescope. So that was the coolest part. Look, you know, observing the Earth as, as well, you know, through the through the windows of the spaceship. Of course, this is really cool. But I would say the spacewalks. But what I you know what I really enjoyed most about the job was the job itself when I was on the ground, uh, working on solving problems and working in a control center and supporting. The other flights and figuring out how we were going to do things and the camaraderie the teamwork friendships were, it were really just fun and extraordinary so that's probably what i missed the most when you spend time with human beings up in space does that affect your human relationship with them like do you feel lonely i wonder how the emotional body feels up there it was a lot of hard work i mean it's a bit stressful you know, you, you're working, it's a job, it's, you know, you're not up there for a, for, you know, a vacation, you're up there for a to do a job and you're, you're representing your country and, and uh, you want to do the best you can. But, uh, but no, I never felt lonely or anything like that. I always had crew members around me. So you have people around you all the time. You also have windows to look out of. You still have that connection with the earth because you're not that, you know, you're a few hundred miles away, but you, you know, you still feel like you're kind of around the neighborhood, I guess. But do you think being up there affects the human mind on an emotional level at all? Like, are you more prone to fights or do you feel closer to the human beings around you <laughs> up there? <laughs> no, we didn't fight. We've never had a fight in space that I know of. I never did. And I know one of my crews ever did. One of the things I used to say was space flight brings out the best in you because you're so dependent on the other person. You can't really afford to be in an argument or a fight with them. You have to get along in order to be successful. Plus you're stuck with them. It's not like you can really go away, you know, like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go to the store for a while. Or we're going to go, you know, take a walk. And now, you know, you're kind of there, but uh, no, I think space flight brings out the best people. And it, it yeah. you know, it didn't, in my, in my case, it didn't. I, you know, I don't know, maybe if you're up there for a longer period of time or if something else happens, depending on the personalities, maybe there was some, maybe, I don't know. But no, I, ne no, I never, I never had anything like that happen. What's the most frustrating thing about being up there? The most frustrating thing? Uh, yeah, I don't, you know, things don't. I don't know if it, it's uh, things don't always work the way you expected to. Um, but you kind of expect that. That's part of the job, and so you have to figure out a way to get things done. Sometimes it's a major issue. Sometimes it's not. But you just have to keep uh, keep working it. So um, I never felt. I don't think I've ever felt frustrated up there. Uh, you know, there's some things you miss. You know, like I missed my family and friends when I was up there. You know, you miss you miss out on things you know, that are going on on the planet when you're up there. But um, but I, I don't think I really ever felt really frustrated. There's this term called the overview effect based on, you know, when you look down at the earth and they say that some kind of a spiritual transformation happens for the individual. Mm -hmm. So what was it for you? You know, one thing is that our planet is really beautiful and uh, we're really lucky to be here. It's like a paradise. It's amazing the stuff we have here. You know, we have plants and animals running around and you know, people, you know, we have a, we have a dog here at home, you know, <laughs> we have like so many things that are just amazing when you really think about it. How the hell does this happen? You know, everywhere else that we know about right now, there's no life at all. Any, well, I think we will find life in the universe some, sometime, but right now there's nothing in our neighborhood anyway. And, and it's just amazing of how beautiful this planet is and how many, how many things there are to enjoy here. So I think that was a realization. I don't know if we think about, I didn't really think about that all the time. The other thing is when I think of home, I think of earth as my home. I don't necessarily think of New York or the United States. I mean, those are my homes, but we're all kind of in the same place. You know, we're in opposite parts of the world, but we're all in the same place. And and that's what you're going around the planet over and over again. It kind of hit me that that's it. We're all, we're all in this together. Uh do some parts of the earth look more beautiful than other parts or it's all just gorgeous to look at as one India piece? is very beautiful. <laughs> That's the place you want to... No, I, th I think it's all, it's all, it's all interesting. Uh, you might think that, you know, like mountains and, and some of the, you know, the deserts around the, the water is mainly water. What you're mainly looking at when you look out the window is water because the earth is third ocean and water. And, um, so if you're, if you're in space and you don't want to, and someone asks you, where are we? And you don't want to take the time to look out the window. You can just say the Pacific ocean and you're probably going to be right because that's the biggest ocean and you're over water most of the time. But, but the water, the cloud formations, every, everything is different. Every, every, every view and even going over the same place at a different time the lighting is different the seasons are different maybe so it's a it's a different experience so during the day you see the colors and you see certain patterns and so on but at nighttime it gets really cool and magical 
you can see the stars very clearly. Um, but looking down on the earth, you see city lights. So you see like some of the big cities like Mumbai or New Delhi or New York City, Chicago in the, in the States or the big cities in Europe, Pan, wherever. You see where people are living and it's uh, it's kind of spectacular at night to see that because we don't live on most of the planet. You know, most of the planet, is, as I said, is water. And then even on the land, you know, there's a lot of desert and mountains that we really don't live in. You know, some people kind of live there, but, but where we're kind of huddled is around cities. And you see that, you see these pockets of civilization around the globe. So um, I wouldn't say one is more beautiful than the other. My first time in India was just a couple, couple was it? It's back a few months ago, and um, you know, I had admired it from space. Like, wow, to be, but and I went there. And I kind of felt like I had a connection, but not really because I'd flown over it. So um, you, you see these places, and they're they're really they're really beautiful places, and then you want to go visit. So gotcha. What does sleep feel like in space? I'm sorry, I had to get that question out of my head. Ah, uh, it's pretty relaxing. It's kind of like you know, you close your eyes and go to bed, but you're you're floating there. So. Uh, but I liked it. You know, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to. You're inside of a of a sleeping bag, um, so you and you're usually attached on the space station. They have their own little crew quarters, like a closet. They're attached to a wall. On the space shuttle, we would put our sleeping bags wherever we could find a spot, and attach them to the wall or the ceiling or the floor, or wherever. But uh, once you get used to it, it's really relaxing. Is it true that sweating is annoying when you're up there? Uh well, you. You, uh, you, you do have ways to cool yourself off. So if you're like sweating during your spacewalk, you try to get more cooling. Uh, but no, it's, you just got to, liquid is a problem. Um, so the sweat will, will stick to you. So you want to, after you work out, you want to clean yourself off. Mm-hmm.